Hello dear students, welcome back to the channel Learn Science with Moon Moon Ma'am. Today I am going to continue with the chapter Force and Pressure. So let's start. In our previous class we have learned about forces are due to interaction. Contact force, example muscular force and friction. Non-contact force like magnetic force, electrostatic interaction, gravitational force. Today we are going to learn about a very interesting thing about force. What it is? Balanced and unbalanced force. So let's see what balanced force is. If the resultant of all the forces acting on a body is zero, the forces are called balanced force. In our previous video, we have discussed that forces are due to interaction. In a single object, more than one forces can act. And forces can result into interaction between two objects. And we have considered the resultant or the net force. A body under the action of balanced force does not change its position of rest or of uniform motion and it appears as no force is acting on it. So, if balanced force is acting on an object, it appears that no forces are acting on it. That means resultant or net force is zero. If the body was at rest, the body will continue at remaining at rest. If the body was moving with, an, with a uniform motion, it will continue its motion in a uniform motion. Balanced force will not affect on its present state. If we want to understand it even clearly, just take a look at this box. Different forces are acting on it. What, what are the forces acting on it? This is the gravitational force acting on this body due to its mass. Now, ground is also applying equal and opposite force on it. So, this both the two forces are 2 Newton and they are dismissing each other. Now suppose you are pulling the box applying a force of 5 Newton and ground also applying force of friction that will always act on the opposite to the direction of motion and if the frictional force is also 5 Newton then these two forces are dismissing each other. So overall the effect of 4 forces that means the net force acting on this box is zero. So, there is no effect of all the four forces acting on the box. We can say that balanced forces acting on the box and resultant force on net force is zero. A few more instances. Just take a look. This boy and girl playing uh, balancing, right? Whenever they can maintain the balance, you can see that the, it, it remain at equilibrium state. Take another example. If the balance is disturbed, the auto is fallen down. Otherwise, they remain steady. Take another example. Tug of war. These two teams are playing tug of war. When the two teams are playing same force on the rope. There is no net movement of the rope. Right? But in second case, you can see that this team is applying greater force. So, they are moving towards the direction of the applied force and rope is changing its position. So, obviously, this is not a balanced force acting on this rope. So, what it is? Unbalanced force. If the resultant of all forces acting on a body is not zero, the forces are called unbalanced force. When unbalanced forces acting on a body, they produce a change in its state of rest or uniform motion. That is, unbalanced force can move a stationary body or they can stop a moving body. 
Suppose a ball is moving and you are applying force opposite to the direction of the motion of the ball and you are able to stop the ball. That means your applied force is more. So here unbalanced force acting on the body. Unbalanced force can cause a stationary object to move or a moving object to change its speed or it can come to rest. Here is an example. The rocket is moving because the up thrust force that is more than the force applied by the gravity. So it's overcoming the force of gravity and it is moving. Of course it is a result of unbalanced force. A few more instances. See in this case tug of war unbalanced force is acting on it. We can see the effect of force on these two persons. Another one, when the car is moving, so all the four forces acting on it, forces of gravity equal and opposite force by the ground and the uh, force applied by the engine of the car and the frictional force. But the force applied by the engine of the car is more, greater than the frictional force. So it can overcome the force and can move. So this is the concept of balanced and unbalanced force. I hope this concept even make your doubt clear about forces are due to interactions. In, in our next class, we will learn about few more interesting things about this chapter, force and pressure. Thank you.